jet-powered planes fly us around the world. But amazingly, propulsion engines have been utilized in some extremely strange ways and installed in other things you wouldn't have expected. Strap on your seatbelt as we explore 10 of the most incredible custom machines with jet engines. Amazing! Number 10. The Jet Train the M497 Black Beetle was built in the 1960s. It looked like something Flash Gordon used to travel to Mars, but this amazing machine was real. It was powered by a pair of jet engines taken from a conveyor into Continental Bomber, and it was fast. The Black Beetle reached speeds of nearly 200 miles per hour on an open track. Unfortunately, no matter how space age it looked, there was no future for the Black Beetle. It never made it past the testing stage. The most noticeable problem was the noise. Small town America didn't want jet engines rocketing across the countryside and terrifying the farm animals. But the even bigger problem for the railroad company was the cost. It was a gas guzzler. Speed costs money and jet fuel isn't cheap. Also, turbines are sophisticated machinery that require a great deal of maintenance, whereas the standard diesel locomotive can run for years without major renovation and very little downtime. We may never be able to ride on a jet train, but there are plenty other jet-powered machines that you may enjoy. Number 9. The Jet Bicycle this Pulse Jet Schwinn Beach Cruiser is a rocket on wheels created by Robert Maddox, the designer of some amazing Pulse Jet engines and crazy cool Pulse Jet powered machines. Why pedal when propulsion can thrust you down the street? 50 miles per hour might not seem fast in a car, but on a bicycle, you really need to hold on tight to the handlebars. Plus, because it's a bike, it isn't fitted with high speed tires, so you'll have to be careful not to push it too fast or the tires may pop. Bob also suggests earplugs while sitting on top of a jet engine. He's what you call a noisy neighbor. But wait, that's not the only jet bicycle in the world. He created an even faster one-of-a-kind Harley-Davidson bike powered by two pulse jet engines. It can be pushed to over 100 miles an hour if you have a track long enough. But Bob isn't the only mad inventor out there. Enter Colin Furs. He roars along at 70 miles per hour on his homemade contraption and doesn't wear a safety helmet. But he is wearing a tie, so while he's not big on safety, we know Colin is big on style. These inventors, or should I say mad scientists, are just the beginning. Number 8. The Jet Hoverboard Ever wanted to be Green Goblin from Spider-Man? Now's your chance thanks to the Zapata Flyboard Air pioneered by Frankie Zapata. This space-age hoverboard flies exactly how we'd all wish one would like from the movies. And what's even more incredible is how fast it can go. The jet hoverboard can reach speeds of 85 miles per hour. Apparently, you don't need to be a pilot to fly it, as it all operates on your ability to maintain balance like a skateboard. Just imagine tomorrow's teenagers doing tricks on these in the future. The helmet has built-in gauges for fuel levels, altitudes, and speeds so you can feel like Tony Stark. Isolated turbines means that if one engine fails, you've still got another one. Wouldn't you love to avoid traffic by taking this to work every day? Obviously, there are many applications for it. Firefighters and medics will be able to reach injured people in hard-to-navigate disaster areas. Soldiers will be able to attack or evacuate quickly. And for most of us, it would be fun to simply fly around town. Number 7. The Jet Sled if you don't have a team of dogs to pull your sled across the tundra, or your snowmobile just isn't cool enough for you, why not install a Pulse jet engine? This one, powered by Spart Halet Racing, is an intimidating beast. Pulse jets like this one and previous ones mentioned can run on gasoline, but they need to be started with a fan to get air flowing through the engine. When this jet-powered sled takes off, it can be heard 10 miles away. It may start off slowly, but after gaining some momentum, it reaches incredible speeds. To achieve top speed, these rocket sled riders steer clear of the snow and ride on a frozen lake. With a top speed of 150 miles per hour, let's hope the snow provides a soft landing. Number 6. The Jet-Powered Wingsuit Yves Rossi flies around with a carbon fiber wing strapped to his back and four jet turbines. Known as Jetman, Rossi is no stranger to flying jets. He trained as a military pilot in the Swiss Air Force and worked as a commercial pilot flying jumbo jets for Swiss Air. Jetman has gone beyond being a pilot to being the jet himself. Yves Rossi combines flying with the use of his body. He arches his back to gain altitude and rolls his shoulders forward to dive. 
Eve can reach speeds of 300 kilometers per hour. That's over 180 miles per hour. Jetman has flown alongside planes over Dubai, crossed the Swiss Alps, and dove into the Grand Canyon. They're still perfecting the takeoff and landing. Currently, Eve has to jump out of a helicopter or leap off a cliff and fire up the turbines as he plummets towards Earth, what I call a leap of faith. But don't worry, a parachute is a standard feature. Even after a successful flight, it's how the jet-powered wingsuit lands. Don't try this at home, kids. Number 5. The Jet-Powered Bus Going to school would have been a lot more fun if the driver picked us up in this school bus. because it goes 350 miles per hour. Sorry kids, there aren't any seats in the back, as the entire bus houses a 42,000 horsepower J79 jet engine. This GE engine is most famous for powering the Phantom F4 fighter jet. Don't try and pass this school bus when it's stopped. When it's about to take off, its afterburner shoots flames that are 80 feet long. It burns through 150 gallons of gas in just one run. Paul Stender built this bus and named the crazy machine School Time. Paul's motivation is spreading a positive message to kids. The side of the bus has a sign explaining, jets are hot, drugs are not. Stay in school, kids, and enjoy the ride getting there. Number 4. The Jet Powered Truck a truck with a jet engine? Not just one, not even two. This terrific truck has three jet engines. These J3448 Pratt & Whitney jet engines usually power a US Navy T2 Buckeye. No wonder this semi-truck is appropriately named Shockwave. both for the noise it makes and how incredibly fast it is. Shockwave makes his public appearances at air shows, racing against planes. At 375 miles per hour, he usually wins. Shockwave erupts with 36,000 horsepower and delivers 21,000 pounds of thrust. This bad boy is even fast off the starting line. Shockwave does a quarter mile in 6.6 .6 seconds. That's a lot of numbers, so let's make it simple. This jet truck is the fastest semi-truck on planet Earth. It's basically a celebrity in the truck world. He even has his own Twitter account. Shockwave is driven by the man who built it, Neil Darnell. Neil proudly jokes that his custom truck is made with some magic, a lot of money, and a little luck. If you ever want to drive Shockwave, make sure you know what you're doing. It isn't a driver's seat, it's a cockpit. There's more than just a gear shifter. The red-handled lever directs the afterburner so they don't melt the asphalt. Another three levers throttle the jet engines. And don't forget the longest lever that shuts the jet engine down and deploys the parachute like a drag racer. Number 3. The Jet Dragster Now for vehicles built for one purpose in mind, speed. And we have the Fire Force team to thank for their innovations. Fire Force One was their first original jet dragster built in 1989. but they've tinkered with the design since then. Fire Force 2 was built lighter in weight and sleeker in design. Fire Force 3 became famous for reaching 336 miles per hour in under six seconds. Fire Force 4 was the prettiest member of its family with a slick paint job of silly clowns. These are cartoon caricatures of the racing team, but the crew of professionals aren't clowning around. The Fire Force team travels the world for everyone to see jet technology up close. Martin Hill, the team founder, is always pushing the limit. When it came time for Fire Force 5, they built a jet-powered dragster that's basically a ground rocket with wheels that runs a quarter mile in five seconds. So the next time a brand new Lamborghini pulls up to you, remember that Slowpoke can only do it in 10 seconds. Number 2. The Jet Car Ryan McQueen's jet car is truly homemade. He taught himself to shape steel and weld it together by watching videos on YouTube. Then he went to a military auction to bid on used jet engines. The Rolls-Royce Viper jet engines have the horsepower you'd need 39 Corvettes to achieve. It's taken Ryan McQueen 12 years and $90,000 to build this beast he named Insanity. This car that looks like a crossbreed of a Ferrari Enzo and a Starship Enterprise. And finally, number one, the rocket car. This marvel of technology is called the Bloodhound SSC, and the letters SSC stand for supersonic car. The car is built by Formula One racing team members as well as aerospace engineers. It's powered by a Eurojet EJ200 jet engine. 
along with a bespoke hybrid rocket. Because the wheels will have to resist 50,000 Gs of centrifugal forces, they have to be specially forged from an aluminum zinc alloy. Driver Andy Green is a former British military pilot, but he's also famous for breaking the sound barrier on land, reaching an astonishing speed of 714 miles per hour, or 1,228 kilometers an hour, in the Thrust SSC, the world current land speed record holder. But his dream with the Bloodhound is to travel faster than a bullet, and he wants the Bloodhound to achieve 1,000 miles per hour, which would be over 1,600 kilometers per hour. That would mean going 33% faster than the previous record. Some might say that's crazy, but he doesn't let that slow him down. The pencil-shaped Bloodhound is currently being developed, and although it's run into funding issues, there's no doubt it will be a sight to behold when it goes for the record. The men and women who push themselves and their machines to the limit might be called dreamers today, but they'll be part of history forever. So, now that you've seen 10 amazing jet engine machines, ask yourself, what sort of machine would you like to see powered by a rocket? And if given the chance, which machine from this video would you most like to ride? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and thanks for watching.